The St. Mary's Valley is, is a real special place. It's as wild as it gets. We've taken people that have been to some really exotic places fly fishing, and they come fly fishing on the St. Mary's with us, and they're like, this is one of the coolest places we've ever been. My name is Nathan Kelly. I own and operate Kimberly Fly Fishing. We're a fly fishing guiding service and also run a full service fly shop. Kimberly is a cool place. It's one of those places where you're, you don't just pass through, you have to make a point to go there. We're a little bit off the beaten path, which is what we like, which actually draws the adventurous type of person here. I mean, it's just endless here. You know, mountain biking, hiking, kayaking, whitewater rafting, it just goes on and on. So it's, you know, for, for an outdoor enthusiast, I mean, it's a really cool place to come and, and visit. We really have some world-class fly fishing right at our fingertips here, all within half an hour to a 45 minute drive. The main focus is Wild West Slope Cutthroat and Bull Trout, which are native to the St. Mary's River in this whole area. The cutthroat trout fishing is second to none. I don't know anywhere else in the world that has a natural dry fly fishery for, for Wild West Slope Cutthroat Trout like we do. You know, a big part of guiding is sharing these experiences with others and just seeing the faces light up and especially when you get that, that big dry fly strike and the, the rod's bent over and, you know, grinning from ear to ear and, and you land a big fish, you get a picture and you just take a look around and you're in one of the most wild remote places in North America. The biggest draw to dry fly fishing is to actually see the fish come and take the fly. That's the real exciting part of the whole deal. Then it's hooking the fish and, and fighting the fish and getting them in and getting them landed and, and then actually getting to look at them and uh, just be in awe. They're just unbelievably colorful and beautiful. You know, really uh, cherish those moments of being in the outdoors and seeing a big bugling bull or catching a nice bull trout or a big cutthroat trout. Yeah, just always uh, hit really home for me and, and I just knew that that's what I wanted to do. Not only myself, but all my guides and everybody involved were dedicated to preserving this fishery, but also sharing it with others and people that are truly into the, the fly fishing sport and especially the dry fly fishing that we have here. It's really cool and uh, yeah, we're really lucky to, to be able to do what we do.